his abilities nearly as much as he used to in terms of he used to not even be able to last hit with his attacks but now he at least does enough damage uh oh he's gonna go oh my that's a four room for vgj thunder possibly saw last game right he was in trouble when yang skilled heartstopper this game he sees ghost shroud survives and he heals up almost halfway yeah, that was huge he already had a stick in all the sakuchi spam and yep. the wave of terror that's just gives really him a smart. lot of charges oh look at this top rune this is a pretty nice rune to get a two minutes in especially when you're a zeus without bottle i respect the uh, the skill gold as well i see a lot of zeus's oh he gets it that's annoying my bad he got a uh, sorry i didn't show you. he got it canceled if you didn't know his dragon slave does end up canceling that regen and man, there's a lot of fights going on. Yeah, DDC will get the stun up. This might just be a turnaround kill on Trina. He has a stick as well. Boat does he have another Gemini? He's healing him. No fear will get the first blood. And welcome to Trina. Highest base damage. 94 base damage. Siler does get no fear eventually. Now it's just a one on one. But they both have healing salves as well as stick. Yep. That ore. We don't talk about Crystal Main ore as much because we've seen it so often. But I mean, it's, it's just not the level one. It's almost a full, uh, a full mana per second. And you see the tree actually TP's bottom and brings the full null plus a mango to his necropose. And here you talk about it though, this minus armor gonna start stacking up. He doesn't have the wave terror because it's already been used and now no fear. You're sentried and you're yeah. dead. He had minus nine armor when he died. Yeah, you're starting to take like almost double damage. The trade lane, but the tree just has no purpose down bottom because again, zero armor melee hero, you just yeah. can't play against Venge Weaver. And his middle lane, what are we looking at? Looking 22, rough. Down by 10 17, CS. 1. Yeah, look at this. Siler. Oh, he's going to get a haste or an iceberg. I don't think you live with your iceberg right here, do you? I think he's just going to accept his death rather than TPing home. I Kills think range he crate. chose to die rather than TPing home and walk back to lane. Because yeah. he's a and 300 move speed hero. Siler's Weaver is uh -oh. nasty. Fade gets a kill top. Pardon me for a minute. It was just a solo, too. Fade versus Fly up top lane as he pulls the crease, but... A lot of minus armor on the Necro, he'll be fine. Yeah, Spectre's gone 1 0 too. That's interesting. Just, he just wants to survive, right? Yeah, is that what you do? Sustain, it? make sure you don't lose the lane too bad. CM does go down. Yeah. This is a lane that they have to be, they, they're just on defense mode. Don't lose your tower. If yeah. you're going to lose the lane, that's fine. Just don't lose I, objectives I, early as well. You had mentioned the liking Spectre versus Underlord. I do too once you hit 25, 30 minutes. But at this point, Underlord's got nearly double damage last hit. Uh oh, look at this. We rotation from Freeze. Obviously, has that bottle, does get the rune, and now no fear. Is going to go down, but will non Grata steal this rune? He will. And look at there goes Tree. But on the backside, Stun's going to come out. Was this worth it? It looks like it was just exchanged a little. And I don't know. I love these rotations from the middle player. Iceberg doesn't show yep. up, but the Lena does. And it's this top lane so problematic for Windstrike because I don't think you can actually deal with the Underlord. But he's like, he's getting close to Helm of the Dominator already. I love the Helm of the Dominator. Yep. When they can't kill you, you just pressure yep. the lane. And not to mention, we mentioned. Non Grata, sorry. He's probably going to die here. The tree armor might find no time for Ghost Shroud. It will not, Mike. At this minus armor, Kyle. Yep. You, you are correct. It hurts. Her survivability under tower and her ability to protect her own tower mm -hmm. is pretty decent against these type of heroes. The only thing that prevents her from protecting her tower is dying, and these heroes don't exactly represent kill threat. Oh my goodness. Iceberg just blows him up middle. Nicely Silar. done. He's going to die. Little kill. Level 8 Zeus dying, man. Silar is on point with these rotations, though. Wow. It's just so good on a hero like Weaver. You can stay so active and room control man and you see iceberg tips freeze uh, definitely maybe like hey i got you i'm gonna get into your head top lane we have the wild wing ripper was no. trying to do some work he does deny it and now silent what well, so what do you do if you're silent here do you, do you talk to your team are you like well sorry bottom lane non grata is actually getting destroyed right now minus nine armor siler doesn't even carry his little force sakuchi is gonna be a double kill this is maybe one second nope 
goes down, had the sentry anyways, and oh. and he's gonna get away, it looks like. Meanwhile, oh, the Spectre is gonna come in, will it be enough? The dagger will kill him, and now he's gonna go over to Dax. He's so killed by supports in this game. Yeah, nicely done by Windstrike, but still VJ Thunder. It feels like they're gearing up for a nice 15, 20 minute kind of death ball push for some of these tier twos. Testing him at the bounty rune, bottom. And I think Iceberg we're might be there. there. He has no way to protect himself. Yep. Oh my gosh, Silar, dude. It's, uh, he's just playing. And now you're seeing this Weaver, this whole first pick Dyer's Weaver thing. Yeah, he no TP. He got the bounty yep. runes, but at what cost here? Always want to fly. Underwood as well in some trouble. Looks like. Oh. Do they have Scythe up top? Dyer's they do not. Up. Unfortunately, it's hard to counter as well. And then they just have one in lane. They have top lane on lock. Oh, they smoked right underneath the ward, too. Yeah, that, they, that's un, it's such a good ward, because it does see above the shrine up here as well. I, you can't I love do traditional it. wards. Like, see how Where's he's checking on Iceberg? Yep. All the normal ward spots. I, I love that ward. I'm a warder. Bottom lane, looks like Laguna is going to come out. non grot hasn't died yet, will go down. Uh, it's so painful, and that waste the smoke as well. Yeah, because yep. they're smoking to make a play around the Necro, and if Necro dies, it just doesn't matter if you can make a and play. And there, oh, it wears off. Is he gonna do? Oh, he oh, does yeah, get a yeah, Avalon damage. He's going to get back, but he's going to go back in. Oh, Miss Stun actually coming out here. But they're going to try to chase down. Will he be able to get Iceberg? That is the question. He does before the ulti comes out. He wants as well on the backside. We're going to see him fear both from away. Always want to fly, just hiding. Stun's going to miss again, though. Siler, he's trying. Can he get silent? A couple of uphill plus the armor. He gets with that double damage, and now no fear. He goes in Viz, but... Right now, VGJ is giving them the corporation, the business. <laughs> what, sick what can they do? Vacation of the universe to attend every single TI. Yep. So you know you're good. Indeed. I mean, it literally guarantees you are a good player. Yeah. Doesn't matter Indeed. what anyone says. My mom says you're bad. She's a liar. I'll say it. Well, looks like this. We're going to see a pet of mouth get a trap in one plus two. Non Grotta TP. We're going to see a Reaper Scythe and instantly kills Freeze, but Iceberg dies on the backside. Siler with another double damage is just doing an insane amount of work. Non Grotta getting brought down here. DDC does die on the backside, though, but I think they're happy with these two kills. If they can find even more, it looks like it might be No Fear trying to run. Damage being done a little bit at a time. The dust is wearing off. He can get it. Oh, the pit of mouth will show him, though. Fire goes down. Now they don't. He's going to get out because that tree armor, and wow. No truer words have ever been spoken. <laughs> well, this Dark Will, I don't know if you looked at hero levels in a while, but it is looking pretty damn good for rating. 18, 16, 15, 14, the top. All on Whoa. Rating. Look at this find. It is going to be Tree. Can they get the solo kill? One more kill come. Here comes Siler. Nice four step, though. Bugs will still hit on him. So he's losing over. They're going to get the Spectre ulti here. Fade, get a fake out the ulti. Spectre trying to go in on the backside, but look at Underlord. Half spotted. That's going to be the Blade and a lot cooldown now. They're still chasing him. Siler is nuts with this DKB. Not Grotta right, will go down. Icebergs already died elsewhere on the map to DDC. Crystal main reason he fed 300 gold when that's like 20k. Especially Willow, like the damage per net worth on that hero is ridiculous. Yep. Okay, well guys. Lena went for the bloodstone again. Our thoughts in this game. We are gonna see it looks like a kill bottom. Oh, maybe not Reaper Scythe won't be oh, wow. two the, enough. Two sold, wait, it yeah. didn't have to. What do you, you gotta force another thing, right? I, I think that Thunder, you can, you can afford to wait for next Roach, but you're starting to need to do things because this advantage is massive, but in 10 to 15 more minutes, it's not going to be nearly oh, Zeus. This could be it right here. He's orchid as well. The damage coming out from the Dark Willow will be enough. Fade gets the kill. Now Zeus is going to buy back. No glyph. Not God has already bought back once. Can they do it? They are going to hold down Chris Man. That'll hit her again once she lands. And there we go. Stun's going to fly. Nice four step. Will it be enough? No, Laguna. I, I don't like Crystal Man either, apparently. And they do finally get the tower. Tier three down as well as the Malax. So they're doing it now on the backside. Tree is just sitting there. What can a tree do right now? And hey, here you go, Kyle. Get the racks. Let's get out. Siler says, nah, I'm good. And this is going to be a loyalty fording the creeps. Yep, let's see. They're going to come in, and there's only two of them, though, but it looks like it might be enough. He's going to ulti on out. It looks like he goes elsewhere. No, he gets the goon. They know the real one. He's still trying to juke and job. I'm not even sure where he went. It looks like he jukes, but looks like Trant will go down. Always want to fly. Might be okay. He didn't even die because of it. Look, look at this. I'm not sure what non Grot is doing. Here. Siler gets the kill on fly. Now it's going to be a triple kill for Siler. He reapered the Venge and he had a hood. That is he such a sick health. play, though, to glyph the creeps so and then Underlord TP in. Yeah. That is baller. I have not seen that before. 
And I don't think that'll be the last time we see it at this event. That is really cool. Well, unless VGJ does it again. Are they the only ones who picked Underlord, I believe? Which seems to be a decent here right now. Well, see you later, Iceberg. Silence just bought back. If he dies, more than likely game. He will get out of there. They'll cliff. They get tree armor, so it heals up a little. And look at him. He is... Is he for real? He could just... You gotta be careful, right, Yang? Oh, where'd the gem go? Okay, it is on Fade. And he was pretty close. Yeah, he knows now, and there it is. No fear will get spotted out. They go through. It'll be a kill for Fade, and they're just gonna try to end the game, it looks like, which they can. Good game called, and wow. Dominant, I mean, uh, definitely dominant game, but overall a dominant series for yeah. win strike in general. And it's like just a better team. Strategically, sure. and individually, they're landing decisions.